guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a style guide video for Carolyn Bissette Kennedy. My sister Simone is joining us today. Hello. She wanted to come along and do a video and she's going to model some Carolyn outfits later in the video. But first let's get into who Carolyn was. I'm gonna get a bit chatty for a bit, so. Buckle in. Buckle in. <laughs> Carolyn Bissette Kennedy was one of, if not the most influential American style icons in the 1990s. She worked as a publicist at Calvin Klein for about seven years, but she came into the public eye when she started dating John F. Kennedy Jr. But the thing was, she never really did any press or interviews or official publicity. I mean, it was her private life. I can understand why she wouldn't want to do that, but it meant that the only way people really had an insight into her life was through paparazzi photos. So there was always this intrigue and mystery about who she was. And in the fashion world, she really quickly became a style icon because she was so elusive and her style was very pared back and minimalistic. Carolyn Bissett and John F. Kennedy Jr. married in a private ceremony in 1996. And the effect that her wedding dress had on the wedding dress industry is sort of a symbol of what her general effect in the fashion world was. So if you picture 1980s and 1990s wedding dresses, they were very poofy and marshmallow-like. Imagine Princess Diana's wedding dress. Like that was a trend of wedding dresses. And then Carolyn, the pictures of her wedding dress got released and she was just wearing a very simple slip gown. It was a pearl colored silk crepe bias gown with a cow decolletage and a sheer veil. And she also wore beaded Manolo Blahnik sandals. So yes, she came out in this really simple gown and it just changed the wedding industry. People started really moving toward pair back minimalistic styles. When Carolyn and JFK Jr. started dating, they quickly became the it couple in New York City. They were young, they were rich, they were attractive, so naturally everybody wanted to see what their life was like. They would be bopping around town, attending galas and parties, and this is where we got to see what Carolyn was wearing, and she was really starting to set the new trends at the time. But they also had this really intense and tumultuous relationship. There's actually paparazzi photos of them having arguments in the middle of the street. And like full screaming at each other and like him ripping her engagement ring off and then her jumping on his back. Yeah, it was <laughs> I know it's New York and anything goes, but it's like, yeah, these were just crazy arguments I would have out in public. Tragically, Carolyn Bissette Kennedy and JFK Jr. died in a plane crash along with Carolyn's sister off the coast of Martha's Vineyard. This plane crash happened in 1999. So they were of course still very young and they had so much more life to live. But in saying that now, Carolyn is sort of this iconic, always forever young fashion icon. We do have to make a little connection to Carrie Bradshaw from Sex and the City in terms of fashion wise, because it's one of our favorite shows that we like to watch. And there's no denying, especially in the early seasons of Sex and the City, that Carrie's character and the way she dresses is definitely influenced by Carolyn's style. Manolo Blahnik wedding shoes. Sound familiar? <laughs> I know that was in the movie, but still. But then oh, no, she wore Manolo Blonix. Yeah, but that was a major character trait of Carrie throughout all the six seasons. She was obsessed with Manolos. Those were her. Favorite and then brand. yeah, Carolyn's street style, wearing her little bandana handkerchiefs and her little glasses. And then, of course, JFK Jr. is kind of like the Mr. Big. Yeah, I mean, when you see side by sides of the real life paparazzi shots and then shots from the TV show, I mean. Mr. Big's always in a suit, so is JFK, and then right next to him is Carolyn or Carrie in this really like understay, like just threw it on, <laughs> yeah. like still looking hot, of course, but it just showed that kind of juxtaposition from that like everyday girl to this like big tycoon who's yeah, yeah. walking around New York City and they're just like the it couple. Hot. Yeah. Hot. Hot. Okay, so let's get into more of Carolyn's 
actual style. As you probably guessed, she was extremely minimalistic, very pared down, classic and understated. Apparently she had a very, very small wardrobe with staple and investment pieces that she would rotate. In terms of color palette, very, very limited. Her favorite color was black. She would wear full black ensembles and there was very rarely an outfit that didn't have black in it. She would also wear white and beige. She especially liked to pair beige with black or brown with black. This was a bit of a fashion rule that she broke wearing brown and beige with black together, but she loved to do this. And then she was also a fan of a mid-wash denim. She particularly liked Levi jeans in a particular cut, sort of an ankle length boot cut. She wore these jeans a lot. She rarely, rarely wore colors. I think I found one photo of her wearing a red coat and to be honest, it just looked really wrong on her. It didn't look right. I saw a picture of a sundress that sort of had a red floral pattern. That's about as far as she would go in terms of color. So when it came to Carolyn's beauty and her makeup, I mean, she rarely wore makeup. Um, if she did, it was very understated, very minimal. So if she was um, going out to like a big event, she would pop on a corally red color, which was sort of her big statement. Her big statement of the night. In terms of her hair, it was very much like Carrie actually, just sort of with the wind, wherever the wind yeah. took it, that's where it yeah. went. We did want to recreate a few of Carolyn's most famous outfits. So the first outfit that we recreated is based on her very famous summer outfits, especially when she would be out walking their dog called Friday. So we had to include Naturally. Pippin in this. We had to include a dog. <laughs> so yeah, this is get Pippin, the full effect. Pippin's cosplaying as Friday. <laughs> <laughs> I think we did really well with this outfit. I can't believe how like almost exact we got it and we did not have to buy anything. This is all stuff that we pulled out of our own wardrobe. We threw on the pair of mid-wash jeans. Very easy, just a black tank top. Then my black strappy sandals worked perfectly. Carolyn loves a bit of a strappy shoe moment. Mm, now these it. are not Manolo Blonics. I wish they were, <laughs> but they definitely have that style and that kind of square toe gives that really 90s look. And then we, uh, to accessorize, we had the blue bandana and the tortoiseshell glasses. Yeah, these are very 90s style glasses. The next outfit, one of Carolyn's most famous outfits was when she attended a gala and she sort of did a feminine menswear look. Carolyn was sort of really made a splash with this outfit with the white button down. She had a very long black maxi skirt. We didn't have a maxi, maxi skirt, skirt, so you went for some tailored trousers. And again, those strappy heels that Carolyn loved. The really cool thing was like, um, we couldn't find a bag, but our mom actually has kept some really beautiful pieces hidden away in her <laughs> cupboard that we didn't know about. So she whipped these out and these, um, this bag is a vintage, and we're guessing 1950s beaded, bag and it just went perfectly definitely got the vibe yeah. across and then lastly we wanted to recreate carolyn's sort of she had this uniform especially in the colder months for fall and winter that she would put together and she would wear different versions of pretty much the same outfit a pair of jeans or trousers some boots really easy shirt and then a coat over the top. Again, we definitely got really close to the original look using things that I have in my wardrobe. Yeah, we sort of based this look around the coat, a coat that I already had, sort of a faux leather coat that's very trendy at the moment. And then just paired it with a very simple white turtleneck. And then again, those mid-wash jeans that we used in outfit one. And then I have a pair of black ankle boots, which were just perfect. Again, the square toe gives that very 90s look. And I think definitely the accessories of the 90s glasses, the glasses. and then the headband. Yes, she loved the, look the glasses together. and the headband. She loved the glasses and headband moment, as we all should. There is our style guide for 90s chic icon, Carolyn Bissett Kennedy. Thank you for coming along, Simone. You're welcome. Really appreciate that. If you did enjoy today's video, please do remember to give it a like and also subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thank you so much for watching today and we'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.